Hi guys and welcome to a bit of a different video. In this video I'll make a tutorial for Hearts of Iron for how to defeat Poland and France very quickly. I will be splitting this into two parts. In the first part I will be explaining what you need to do before you do uh, or finish Danzig or War. Um, in the second part I'll be showing you how to, uh, you know, what you would do after. Uh, both are very important so I recommend watching both instead of just jumping to second part. Okay. Uh, I recommend uh, making five right. full stacks of infantry. Uh, this one has a, a couple engineer divisions. These five will be used before for the attack. Um, I also recommend making two tank divisions uh, with a couple tanks and a couple uh, motorized. Making two of those because you're going to attack from two sides. So, how to assign uh, which armies to assign to which front. I recommend assigning one army to the Netherlands, because you're going through the Benelux in order to get to France. Uh, I already have an order, so I delete this one. I select this army, I click control, and click with the left mouse button on this front line, and it will assign all divisions. But we're also going to attack Belgium. So, we need to sign a couple divisions to that I'd recommend doing, I don't know, 8 or something, it's not very important, 6 or 8 or something like that. So, now it will bring those divisions to those two places. The second army is going to be used to hold back France. France uh, is not very scary, but you need to have an army assigned so they don't push through, because you've got a couple units. Uh, in order to prevent them further from attacking you is to uh, have forts here. Uh, forts can be easily acquired on these place places uh, by creating, taking uh, Westwall. Uh, it will place uh, level 3 forts all across the border and will prevent the French from invading you while you're attacking Poland. Then there are three armies assigned to taking out Poland. The first army I will, uh, you just have to assign to uh, the top here. By the way, in order to create the entire front, you just uh, select the army, click front line over here, and then uh, do a left click on the border you want to. You can see that it turns green, and then you click and it signs the entire army. So now they will all uh, choose the quickest route to there. The other two armies will be assigned to this border from over there all the way to over here. Now you could just do the exact same and do like this, but that doesn't fully use the uh, full army to its full potential. It will uh, stretch its army out because it can't fill the entire border with one army. It will need two and uh, it's just it's a mess. Don't do it. Um, so if you take the general, the, the, the field marshal I mean, and then you click front line with the field marshal, then it will assign all divisions, uh, all divisions, all armies that do not have orders yet to uh, a special uh, front line that will spread out the generals such a way that it will fill the full front line. Uh, if you know what I mean, it will keep this front line filled. Now, uh, it also goes a bit here into Slovakia. Uh, which is our puppet state. Uh, we will not be calling Slo uh, Slovakia into the war because there are mountains here, uh, which can be uh, hills or no, whatever. It c uh, I don't like to do that. So if you click front line again, uh, you see this little uh, dot. You cl uh, right click on the dot and you drag it to your border. And now it will spread over the border. And over your border and will not go into Slovakia. Furthermore, right, there are the tanks. The tanks are going to split in a south, a southern part over here and a northern part over there. Uh, these two armies are going to be the exact same and yeah. Uh, so these are going to be tanks and they're going to try to break through the enemy line. And with these, you're going to want to create encirclements uh, and take 
for uh, victory points such as in the form of cities, uh, especially the big cities such as Warsaw, uh, Warsaw, very well, uh, and Krakow. Armored divisions uh, travel fastest over uh, flat terrain plains, and if you click on ter uh, terrain map mode on the right uh, right bottom corner, you can see the terrain, and e all everything that is orange is plains. Over plains. Uh, the tanks drive fastest uh, through forests, uh, they uh, have less attack and they have uh, less speed. So it's best to send them over planes. And as you can see there are a lot of planes in uh, Poland. Uh, from the northern part you can see that this is all forest. I will not recommend going through here, but go through here. So your northern army Send them here, right click this time, and will only assign the divisions to this one tile. And do the same with the other one. I, I somewhere over here. So now we have signed all of our uh, armies, and we're just going to click play, and they're all going to go into position. As you can see, they all travel to there destination so now our all of our divisions are in place and we need to create battle plans because these divisions are not going to attack all on their own select a general in order to create a battle plan and then create offensive line now drag the offensive line over uh, where you want to end the border so it will try to move this border over here from this general and will try to move it over to there uh, by attacking and the same you will do with the other army. We'll do like this and we'll try to move this border over there. Uh, the same will be done with the northern army. They will be going, tr trying to push southward. So like this. And the other armies uh, are going to push into the Benelux. Uh, but that's going to happen a bit later. And these uh, doesn't actually matter. They're not going to attack. They're just going to stand there and try to hold the... French. For the tanks, you're going to uh, control these yourself and go, uh, decide yourself um, where they're going to go. Uh, so these will remain uh, without an attack order. Uh, furthermore, there are uh, planes. Planes are very important in this game. Uh, without planes, you can't win, essentially. Well, you can win, but it's difficult. I'd recommend uh, there, there are two types of planes that are important. Uh, that is uh, fighters and close air support. These are fighters and these are close air support. And you can see the difference is uh, the fighter is a little plane icon and the uh, close air support is a blue plane icon with a small stripe on the bottom. If you click these um, you have to assign them orders. Uh, fighters have air superiority and in interception. Uh, both click both of these, uh, and for close air support, it's close air support. The same over here. Um, I recommend making 1,000 close air support and 1,000 uh, fighters before you attack. And splitting these into two halves of 500 uh, close air support and 500 close air support, like this. 500 fighters here and 500 fighters there. Now these are going to help with attacking. In order to assign them a region, as you can see there are different air regions. This is Western Poland, Eastern Poland. These are two uh, you're going to fi fighting in. So you cli right click on the air region and will now try to fly in that air region. And do the same thing with the other one. And you can see 1,000 fighters and 1,000 close air support. These are going to help a lot with attacking. And later on in the war, when you have co uh, conquered ha Western Poland, you can move these fighters over to Eastern Poland. Because uh, they're not going to be as useful anymore in Western Poland. Okay, if you've all uh, done that and you are ready for this, then you are ready for... Uh, the war. Uh, thank you for watching and I see you in the next video where I'll try to, well, try to, I'll conquer Poland and France very quickly. <laughs>